Hi guys, Renee Pizzotta here, Acting My Age. Welcome back, and if you're new to the channel, click subscribe and be sure and come back every Wednesday for new videos. Today, I'm sitting down with fellow character actress, Emily Berry. Emily is hilarious. You're gonna love her if you don't know her already. She works in television and film, and she's super successful in commercials as well. You're gonna wanna watch this whole video because she gives away some of the tricks of the trade to booking commercials. Ma'am, I have the arm strength of a chimp, but there is just too much real estate back here. I'd have to dislocate your shoulder. Do it. Okay, but you'll have to teach one of your bridesmaids to do this on the day. Sorry, boys. No off-campus tacos for you. <laughs> Looks like you'll be having cheese soup with the rest of the school. Good work, Trent. Let's get you back in that orange vest where you belong. Hmm? Shut it down! We lost the case. No more singing! Give me those programs. We have to shred them. Turns out we are, in fact, in violation of copyright. So live and learn, I guess. Pass them. Pass them down. Pass them down! Emily, yes. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for inviting me to join you. I'm glad we finally made it happen. <laughs> Yay! You and I, we run into each other at auditions constantly. Yes. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. And look, we're able to be friends. I trust you with my puppy. You do trust me with your puppies. Don't that. But you and I, we audition together all the time. Mm -hmm. And I can be honest and say to you that when I see you, I'm so happy. And I'm like, yay. It's like I don't seeing a friend this. anywhere else. Like, oh, yay. Totally. Renee is also shopping for cheese today at Ralph's. <laughs> yay. <laughs> Let's catch up. Yes. After we figure out our orders. But, you know. Yeah, totally. You know what I mean? Like, totally, oh, let totally. Get the business done, but then shit chat after. Totally, <laughs> totally, totally. Character yeah. ladies are, are fun. Like, yeah. character peeps are fun. Yeah. <laughs> I remember yeah. when I was younger and I was... 70 pounds lighter and blonde. The, the auditions weren't as fun. I didn't have as many auditions. Yeah. Um, but like, it's very, very different to not be that product anymore. And mm -hmm. just like when we're in the lobby and just cracking each other up. But like, granted, we might be distracting each other a little bit. Right. But nobody's doing it. Nobody that I know is doing it out of malice. any kind of malice, malice yeah. at all. We're yeah. just like, oh my God, you fell off the same weird tree that I did. <laughs> and also like... For me, one thing that I've realized in auditioning with people I know and whatnot, what have you, I'm like, you know what? If, if, if I'm supposed to get this role, then I'll get it. And then if you're the face that's supposed to tell that story, you're going to get it. Totally. Or whoever. Yeah. Like, that's the vessel that's supposed to breathe life into that character. Great attitude. That episode or whatever it is. Yeah. And thinking of it that way like nope that's what the writer needs for that thing and yeah. it makes it a little and less personal yes like oh why didn't why not me right Get, shut up <laughs> oh shut up there's a whole lot of why not yeah you is gonna happen so you've had a lot of success commercially I came in too hot. Our train runs all the way down to the gluten-free stuffing. It's gluten. The stuffing. That's right. Walk away. Timing's important. Comcast mm -hmm. Business knows that. That's why you can schedule an installation at a time that works for you, even late at night or on the weekend if that's what you need, because you have enough to worry about. Fun. It's a fun day, and a lot of people see them like that's yeah. like a lot they, when they run, they really run, yeah. <laughs> and that's that's what's fun is to like people can see you. They know that you actually are an actor, and yeah. they're not just trying, and it's actually happening. Yeah. What about commercial auditioning, though? Commercial auditioning. I started to really understand the the tone of commercials, at least back then, and it seems to be quite similar now. Actually, it's it's very fast paced as far as how your thoughts connect. It's kind of an offbeat comedy feel like Parks and Rec. Mm. So that seems to be the general comedic tone in most funny spots. So knowing that and kind of breaking it down and feeling like I'm living in that type of world for the most part um, helped, but also making sure that my moment before 
was just made sense for what was going on, grounded, didn't have, not pushing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When I booked Geico, which was the very first one, I was like, oh, I just, what, what's going on? I was thinking about, did I get everything? I'm standing in line with my groceries and um, the checker's standing there. And I'm just like, did I get, I was going to make pizza. And I, did I get the sauce? Did I, get, I had a list of things I was making. And then he tells me how much it is. And I go to my purse. I had money out in the audition and the callback. I had money, I like, I just lived it out mm -hmm. for myself. And made sure to just be a little tilted towards the camera the way that I needed to be to show my whole face, right? Mm -hmm. So I had that technical thing, and then the other stuff was just living it as if it were really happening. It'll be twenty three fifty. Now seventy five, twenty three seventy five. Hold on, pay to get down twenty three seventy five. Twenty four, hey, twenty four dollar, twenty four and a quarter, quarter now half, twenty four and a half and seventy five and twenty five. Now a quarter, hey, twenty six and a quarter. Hold on, pay to get down twenty. You want to do it? Five and a quarter. Sold to the man in the khaki jacket. Geico, fifteen minutes could save you. Well, you know. I don't have any words, but did I connect all my thoughts in like 15 seconds because there's a 15 and there's a 30. I also started recording myself telling stories on my oh, phone. That's, that's interesting. You've seen me do that. I put little stories yeah, yeah, on, yeah, Facebook yeah. on Facebook and Facebook, stuff. Your Facebook that was for the stuff. sake of watching how long it took me to tell a story. Interesting. At 15 seconds and then tell the same story at 30 seconds. Interesting. So that I would start to have a, a sense of the time of the storytelling for us mm -hmm. for a commercial audition. That's great. <laughs> and That's also good. reduce my facial tension mm -hmm. as I'm telling that story. Because mm -hmm. usually by the time I post something on Instagram or Facebook, I would notice that sometimes I was telling a funny story like this. What's that yeah, about? Yeah, like, yeah. So you start to notice it's super minutia yeah, of it's your super facial important tension. to know what you do with your face. Yeah, so that's how you book a commercial. All those things. Talk to me about like um, your best uh, set experience. My best set experience, it's changing as I learn more and I'm getting more comfortable on set. I'm able to be a little more relaxed and do my job and get to know people because sometimes it's it's a little bit scary in the beginning. Like my third gig was uh, transparent and my scene was with Catherine Hahn and Duplass. Jay Duplass. Yeah. That's him. Yeah. And Catherine Hahn was so incredible, not just to work with in the scene, but when I was getting my makeup done, like I was, I had watched the first uh, season and I was so just moved to my core yeah. by how interesting the storytelling was and how unique and well acted and cracked out, all of it. So brilliant and beautiful. So two of you, I was excited to get the audition. When I got heard that I booked it, I was like, get the hell out of here. No, no way. <laughs> I was getting my makeup done and she was sitting next to me. And she was like, oh my God, hi, you're at the birds. Oh, we have such a tough scene later, but it's so nice to meet you. Oh my God. Ah! Like she's yeah. out of her mind in the best way. And to see that somebody can be a leader on set without being mean and having any kind of a thing going on like that. Like it's it's very easy to be yourself and, and be a leader. So it was a great lesson to learn that. And she also, there was a, I had to um, do something medical with her. I was giving her an ultrasound and I... Part of my action that I'd given myself was to put on and take off these rubber gloves. Well, they didn't have another pair of rubber gloves. It was July in the valley, and I was sweating, and I couldn't get it back on, and I was like, oh, my God, I can't do my job. I'm like, <laughs> and she saw me start to trip out. She was like, hey, could perhaps bring some more of those gloves? Like, there's no way anybody can put on rubber gloves more than one time in this seat. Come on. That's nice. Yeah. That's like, she, nice. Yeah, she helped me take care of her. Yeah. By taking care of me. Yeah. <laughs>
You know what's interesting is that I couldn't give too much away anyway if I wanted to because I only got my pages. Mm. They only sent the bare minimum yeah. of where I was. Yeah. The scene that I was in and that's it. Yes. So that's what's next for me. And then I just shot a commercial as well. Yeah. So hopefully that airs. You know what that is? Can um, you talk about that? It's for a fast food restaurant. Mm-hmm. And they actually let me... Okay, so two things. Cannot believe that they let America's Chuck Little Sweetheart be in a food commercial. They tend to not put heavy set folks in any kind of uh, food advertising because they think that subliminally, yeah, <laughs> America will think that the food makes you fat. But not only did I get called in for it, get called back, book the job, I'm also the one eating in the spot. Ooh. One of the people eating in the spot. I'm like, interesting. They get fatty the fuck. What? <laughs> okay. But I, I like. I, I also have like the punchline at the end. Yeah. Of the, Yay. Well, you've been a delight. Is that it? We're done. Okay. See how quick and easy it was? It wasn't so quick. Thank you for listening. But it was easy. To all of our mission us. Well, that's it for this video. If you like what you saw, give it thumbs up and leave a comment. And come back every Wednesday for new videos. I'm Renee Pizzotta, acting my age. In the old days, the they old used days. to have call <laughs> which means they called you back in person. <laughs>